What's up guys, this is GTFan712 back with another installment of news, in which I recap the sneaker news that matter to me this week and look forward to this weekend's releases. Kicking off this week, we saw several new Adidas releases, including the ZX Flux ADVX, a minimal take on the classic ZX line composed primarily of suede, and new multicolor accented colorways of the ZX Flux Asymmetrical Prime Knit in black and white. Select sizes are still available, with links to purchase in the description. Adidas surprised everyone with a random new hybrid silhouette, the Pure Control Ultra Boost, which combines the slip-on Pure Control soccer boot with the cushioning of the Ultra Boost. This new silhouette released randomly on Adidas Europe and at select international retailers, but has not released on Adidas US. For updates on this and all upcoming Adidas releases, follow my Adidas exclusive Twitter account at Adidas Alerts. Nike Lab released several new silhouettes this Thursday, July 14th, including the Air Safari Royal offering a minimal, premium take on the classic Air Safari available in black and orange, and the Dunk Lux Low executed in premium smooth leather available in black, olive, and navy, with links to purchase in the description. Moving into this week's news, Nike has unveiled three new colorways of the Nike Lab Air Zoom LWP by Kim Jones. In addition to the originally shown white colorway, black, purple, and volt colorways will be available beginning next Saturday, July 23rd. J. Crew has teamed up with New Balance once again. Following up on their Butterscotch 997, this Moonshot 997 features a lunar inspiration, even down to the limited in-store exclusive vacuum-sealed packaging. The Moonshot 997 releases online and at select J. Crew stores next Wednesday, July 20th. Moving into this weekend's long list of releases, beginning with the long-awaited US release of the white OG NMD Runner Prime Knit and black NMD City Sock, which released in all other regions nearly two months ago. Both NMDs released today, Friday, July 15th, online on Adidas US and at select US retailers. Adidas has teamed up with German gold-beating manufacturer Eitzinger to create the 999 Noble Medals Pack, featuring a Stan Smith and a Rod Laver with gold leaf detailing. The first in a series of precious metal releases, the 999 Noble Metals Pack releases today, Friday, July 15th. Following on Saturday, Adidas finally delivers on Colored Boost, with three Ultra Boost uncaged LTD colorways releasing worldwide on July 16th. Triple White, Black Boost, and Red Boost colorways will be available, with early links in the description. Following last week's direct release, the Star Cow Paris Adidas Samba releases worldwide at select Adidas Consortium accounts this weekend. This seventh release on the Adidas Consortium World Tour will be available this Saturday, July 16th. The Adidas Crazy Light Boost 2016 will release in two new colorways this weekend, including a James Harden branded USA themed colorway and a minimal black colorway. Both will release at select retailers this Saturday, July 16th, with available early links in the description. German boutique Soulbox has teamed up with ASICS to create a follow-up to their previous collaboration. Debuting the new ASICS Gel Light Runner silhouette, the sequel to the Carpenter B Gel Light 3 features a similar colorway, releasing this Saturday, July 16th. Australian publication Sneaker Freaker has teamed up with New Balance once again to create the Tassie Tiger New Balance 997.5. Like their previous Tassie Devil New Balance collaboration, the Tassie Tiger is inspired by an indigenous species, executed in black and red suede on the 997 and 998 hybrid silhouette, which releases this Saturday, July 16th. This weekend's Nike releases begin on Saturday with the oxidized green Jordan 14 Retro, the white colorway of the Jordan 1 Retro Low No Swoosh, and two new colorways of Kevin Hart's Free Train Instinct, all releasing on July 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Following on Monday, the return of the Nike Air Zoom Spiridon will release in three colorways, along with the debut of the Hyperdunk 2016 Flyknit and the USA colorway of the Air Force One Flyknit Low on July 18th. Lastly, an Atlanta-themed Air Trainer SC High featuring a colorway taken from the 1996 Olympics will release on Tuesday, July 19th. And that will wrap up this installment of news. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this week's news and releases, and follow me on Twitter at GTFan712 for up-to-the-minute news and release updates throughout the week. Until next time, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.